Our mission commitment can be expressed through both words and deeds. Through the spiritual support of the diocese and the wonderful generosity of many, Father Cullum has ignited the Catholic faith in his very impoverished parish. They are abandoned no more, for they have a priest, a church, and soon a school. People like Consuelo, Silvia, Moricruz, Juan, and Julio can practice their faith, and they, along with many others in the community, are committed to spreading their faith. When I was uh, home uh, during last summer, I was overwhelmed with the generosity of people at home. People who came up to me and just told me they were doing a fundraiser for me for different projects. And I think it's always important to maybe show people some of the accomplishments that have been achieved through the generosity of people at home. And also just to let people know that, that I am actually in South America, that I'm not lying on a sun beach somewhere, lapping it all up like I'm after winning the national lottery. This is the first Catholic chapel built in the parish. We called it um, Corpus Christi, La Capilla Corpus Christi. We actually had the inauguration of the chapel on the feast of Corpus Christi. And it was, um, it was an emotional day for me because um, 10 years ago, I was ordained on the 13th of June in 1998. And I said my first mass at the feast of Corpus Christi. So there was a good um, connection there for me. And also I was emotional because I knew that this chapel was built on the generosity of people back home, people like yourselves who have been very generous. So this is the first chapel. Um, also the parish house, which is beside the chapel here, has been, has been built through the generosity of people at home. Um, we have just completed uh, an all-purposes room at the back of the chapel here, which will act as rooms for catechesis. It will act as a sacristy. It will act maybe as a... I have a small kitchenette beside the meeting room, which will act as a, a place just to prepare refreshments after each of the meetings we have. I mentioned the word catechesis. Maybe it's not a, a word that's familiar at home because at home we do things much differently as regards preparing children for First Communion and Confirmation. So the children meet here every Sunday in this particular sector from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. I have a number of catechists now working with me in the parish, which is, which is mighty. Um, maybe up to 29 young people are helping at the moment. And the further we expand, the further we expand into the parish, the more catechists, hopefully, I hope, will come on board. They're young people, they're very enthusiastic. It gives me great hope for the future that so many young people are involved in helping the younger children prepare for communion and confirmation. Yo dirijo el grupo de segundo nivel. Eh, lo estoy llevando a hacer la comunión, estamos haciendo, ya vamos a empezar las prácticas para, para acercarnos a recibir a Jesús. Also, I suppose the compliments we have achieved, I, I may have said that I'm the first Catholic priest in the area, please God, the first of many to come here. And um, what has been achieved so far, we, we have, I'm saying maybe masses in four or five areas at the moment, uh, different times during the weekend and during the week. And I only started saying Mass in the news sector last week. And I suppose at this moment in time, people may ask, uh, and what numbers are coming to Mass? That first sector, which is a small sector last week, without much publication, 25 people came to that Mass on a Wednesday evening. And that will only build because the first time I said Mass in the school now, in January, that I say Mass in every Sunday morning, we had maybe, I'd say 10 or 15 people. And I would wonder, what in God's name am I doing out here if I'm only saying Mass for 15 people? But now, only last weekend, I'd say we had maybe 125 people at that same Mass. So the children are going to catechesis and in time, what happens, the children come to catechesis and the parents come with them as well to help them along the way. Also, during different months during the year, October is a good month to, to say this, um, we have rosaries in the different sectors where where different parts of the community come together for a rosary. And uh, it's a great way of linking people together and also a great way of, of um, linking, uh, linking people's lives together because people live a lot of the time within their own sector. I formed a, a parish, probably compared to home, a parish pastoral council and we would meet up and 
I can see where catechists are getting to know one another, getting, to, getting on with one another well, and also building up a huge sense of belonging because these people have no sense of belonging to anything. Basically for the simple reasons that they don't have money to be meeting people at weekends like we would do at home. Eh, como catequista, mi vida es feliz, sábados y domingos, que son los días en que más vengo a este sitio. Y me llena de felicidad y caminar por este sitio, la verdad, acompañar a la gente. Aunque creo que debe haber más promoción humana, porque recién estamos empezando. Y, y sé que el camino acá es largo y llegar a la gente es lo más bonito, es lo más bonito en nuestro sector. So the only places where people meet, maybe, are in places like the church here. So it's a huge sense of belonging for them. I can't emphasize that enough. And please God, this huge sense of belonging will link them much more together as a parish. And please God will link them much more together as persons and build up their self-esteem and build up friendships that would never have been possible, maybe if a Catholic presence never came into the parish. Uh, another thing, maybe, and it's, it's also a sign of people's generosity, um, there's actually two sectors at the moment where, um, where I hope to, to build a, a capilla, which is a small chapel, and maybe build a bigger church. And it's acknowledging people's generosity again. It's about purchasing land. So I buy the land, and the land is put into the name of the diocese, which is, which is great because it means even if whenever... I leave here whenever the next priest comes. Whatever land is purchased is, is in the name of the diocese and that land can be used in the name of the parish. I purchased land here beside the house here, maybe for the building of a church and purchased land in one of the sectors called 21 de Octubre and another sector, Valle Italiano. And the land is exactly between two sectors, which will be a great way of linking the two sectors which is what we're all about, linking people's eyes together and building up the faith community. Also, uh, another way of using people's money is maybe some, some families come, come to me in huge desperation. I know one particular family, Consuelo, who, whose husband is in jail for the last eight years. Her husband was uh, wrongly imprisoned. But Consuelo and her four children, Miguel, um, Jose, Maria and Ruth, uh, lived with their mother, with, with Consuelo's mother, in a very, very small space. I just recognized that Consuelo's family was in desperate need, so I, I bought them one of these houses, one of these, uh, we call them Ogar de Cristo houses. The house cost, uh, just cost $800, but that house means the whole world to them. Other families have come to me looking for medical help, looking for prescriptions, looking for help for uh, to go to hospital, all very important things because very little medical facilities here too and it's another thing maybe that we have to look to in the future is medical help for people and maybe trying to establish a medic medical facility within the area, which is a huge issue to be tackled as well and a huge challenge to, to be undertaken. Oh.